Hi and welcome. My name is Rafael Taubinger and I'm Global FAE Manager at IR Systems. In this video, I want to show you how to unpack and set up the IR RISC-V GD32V Evaluation Board. So in this kit, you get included the RISC-V board with a GIGA device. So if you look at it, you can see that there are many LEDs, switches, peripherals. We have all kinds of different sensors uh, also included, uh, humidity, temperature, light, even a USB serial uh, adapter. And in order to work uh, with uh, this RISC-V board, you of course need an iJet light from IR systems, that's a debug probe. And the debug probe uh, actually gets connected to the board through this MIPI-20 cable. So this MIPI-20 cable mainly needs to be connected to the board and I will show you how this looks like. So I'm connecting the board to the iJet light debugger. So once you have everything uh, connected here, uh, you will see uh, how it looks like, mainly connecting to the JTAG MIPI-20 connectors here on both sides. And from here, also included in this kit, we provide you with uh, USB cables, actually two. So the USB cable is required, of course, to connect the JTAG here, the iJet debug probe, to uh, the computer later. And uh, what will also happen here is that it will power supply the board, but uh, you can also supply the power through the USB um, uh, connector here. And for that, we provide a second cable. Uh, that can also be used, of course, later for the USB serial uh, communication. And this is uh, all you need to know uh, when setting up uh, the board that is included in the RISC-V evaluation kit. So, now let's move on to the next steps and the installation of the IR embedded workbench for RISC-V that are required for uh, the evaluation of the IR RISC-V kit. So, you probably got an email from IR already with all uh, the additional information. So, uh, we include some licensing guides and quick start guides. But even more important, there is a getting started guide uh, included in this email. And uh, you'll also see that there is a link with the FTP for downloading the installer, uh, the license number that you will need to activate uh, the, the tool. And finally, also you'll get uh, the enrollment key for the IR Academy On Demand. So you get access to uh, our On Demand um, Academy and you will be able to learn a bit more about the embedded workbench, uh, do some practical labs and hands-on, all included in this kit. So, as mentioned, the getting started will give you all the step-by-step -step what you need to know uh, to install uh, first the embedded workbench, uh, give you additional details uh, about uh, the kit. So, there is again the step-by-step -step for setting up the hardware. And uh, all the examples uh, for this board are actually hosted uh, on the IR Systems um, GitHub repository. So if you go to uh, IR Systems GitHub, you will be able to download uh, the examples that are available right now. Uh, but please also feel free to contribute on more examples. So as recommended in the Getting Started Guide and also the email that you got from IR, uh, we need to start by downloading uh, the IR Embedded Workbench and we also should download uh, all the examples uh, or even clone uh, what's available uh, on uh, github so if you go to github.com ir systems uh, we'll see that we have a special repository for uh, the ir risk 5 gd 32v evaluation uh, board and as you can see you can easily clone or even download uh, these examples that's what i will do right now once the download is completed it's time to start the installation. The installation should be straightforward. It will, of course, uh, install the complete embedded workbench. And uh, you can, of course, uh, explore the installation media, look on the release notes if you want. But this process, it's um, really straightforward. You only need to continue uh, by pressing next. And it, of course, will uh, install uh, some additional drivers that might be required uh, for uh, the embedded workbench to work correctly. 
uh, you can also customize the installation folder if needed. While the installation is running now, uh, we can already unpack the examples that we downloaded from GitHub. So I'm creating a local folder here, but feel free to copy uh, these examples to any location in your PC. And what you will see is that we have the full structure here uh, from the examples. So we include uh, initially a few examples that can be used as reference, uh, how to set the clock tree, um, work with timers, uh, toggle uh, the IOs or LEDs. And finally, there is uh, a project for the user communication that actually uses the USB to serial uh, converter. Once the installation is completed, we will mainly have the option uh, to have a look on the release notes, but also launch the Embedded Workbench. On the first time you start the IR Embedded Workbench for RISC-V, uh, you will be requested uh, to activate a license number. So including this kit, uh, you get access to a 30-day evaluation uh, license. And the information, as mentioned before, it's available on the welcome email. So once uh, we add the license number to be activated, we just need to continue here with uh, the browser. And of course, since it's the first time we are using this license, uh, a registration step is required, but that is straightforward. So once uh, we uh, confirm the registration, there will be an email sent directly to you. So please make sure to confirm that registration on the link that you get on your email. So from here, we can move to the next steps. And we can mainly click next to finalize the registration process here. Uh, it will just make sure that uh, the keys are installed locally on your machine. That might take a few seconds on your side. So as I said, uh, the IR Mabbit Workbench, um, it's now available for 30 days for your use. So now that uh, we have everything in place, the license is installed. Uh, once we start uh, the IR Embedded Workbench, maybe it's already open, otherwise you need to start it again uh, from the Start menu from Windows. We want to open an example project that we downloaded from GitHub. So if you go to File, Open Workspace, and to the folder where we um, saved uh, all the projects, we mainly need to open uh, the IR Embedded Workbench Workspace uh, file. It's the EWW file. So we will open this project. In this case, I choose uh, the LED, the Toggle I.O. Uh, project. And as you can see, uh, the structure is uh, already in place. So we have all uh, the files uh, required uh, in this project uh, in the tree here. So we have the main file, we have all the drivers uh, and so on uh, in the file, for example, the GPIO file. And for you, very important to know is that we need to go to the project options and we should just double check the settings we have. In this case, we are using uh, the Giga device GD32VF103 that it's uh, populated on this uh, RISC-V evaluation kit. Uh, but it's important for you to know that we support uh, many other uh, vendors uh, also here on the list. And if you want to uh, test a bit the limits from the IR compiler, uh, you're of course welcome. You can go to the compiler settings and play around with the size and speed optimizations that we are well known. And finally, what you need to do in this case, make sure that uh, the iJet driver is selected. As you know, uh, the kit includes an iJet light. And in this case, since uh, I'm providing the power to the board uh, from the probe, make sure that the target power and uh, from the probe option is enabled. So uh, you don't need to connect the extra USB cable to power the board. From here, I mainly can confirm with OK. And I need to build uh, my project. I will do a rebuild all just to make sure everything is fine. No errors are expected here. Very good. And the next step is, of course, to connect to the target. So we do a download and debug. We will connect to the target here. And once that step is uh, completed, we will end here uh, on uh, main. Uh, as you can see, I already have some windows open here. You can go to view, open uh, the memory window, 
uh, go to watch or locals to uh, see variables and um, you can also easily by double click just se uh, se uh, select a line here and enable rate finds and on the right side you can also see the disassembly so if you are using custom instructions for example you would be able to see that on your side and of course now I just need to click here on go and the application will run here it's uh, toggling the LED uh, there is a delay here in between and every time it comes to that line of code we are of course stopping uh, on that uh, breakpoint so as you can see uh, it's very easy connecting the target downloading examples installing the tool so you have everything you need uh, for doing uh, the evaluation here of uh, the embedded workbench for risk 5 with the ir risk 5 evaluation kit but we want to give you of course more uh, possibilities and i really recommend that uh, you go to um, the IR uh, On Demand Academy uh, on the email that uh, you got from IR, the welcome email for the kit, there is a link together with uh, access key that you can use to get access to uh, the quick uh, course uh, with the risk 5 board and IR Embedded Workbench. Uh, you'll learn uh, some good information about the compiler, about the debugger, uh, the IDE itself, uh, but I highly recommend it. There are actually three uh, labs included that will give you the best experience when evaluating. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please, if you have any feedback, make sure to reach out to us. We are really happy to assist you and give you more information. Thank you.